Hello and welcome to this demo video. Before we get started, I'd just like to explain to you a few things uh, which will relate to all of the basic range spreadsheets. Um, number one, there is a key on the intro and setup tab of all of the spreadsheets showing what the different color headers mean. The blue headers mean that uh, the cell's formulated, so it's locked and you can't change it. The yellow headers are where you can input data and occasionally there might be some gray headers, which is just a different kind of data input, but uh, we'll include instructions as and when that happens. Um, the other thing that you can be aware of is there are ways in which you can damage the spreadsheet. So please do take a look at the link where you see this image, which will take you to a web page to show you how to better preserve your spreadsheet. Um, please feel free to keep a blank version of the spreadsheet somewhere so that if you do mess up uh, a spreadsheet that, you've, um, that you're using, you can in fact just open a new one, a blank one. And some of the spreadsheets only last for a year and then you've got a blank one to start the following year. So do keep a blank copy as a backup somewhere. And uh, lastly, wherever you see this image, you can click on it. It'll take you back to the store where you purchased this product um, to see if you've got anything, um, any more products. Uh, one last thing, to see a demo video, you can click on this uh, on a link that looks like this in order to go to the demo video, but that'll take you to the most recent demo. If in fact we've done upgrades and you're using an older version and you'd like to see the demo relating to your version, then do click on the uh, watch on YouTube link, which will take you to that specific video on YouTube. So I think that's all you need to know. So without further ado, let's move on to this demo video. Thank you. Hello and welcome to the demo video for this runner's logbook spreadsheet. Um, what is this world pretty much for those of you who do go running or jogging and you want to put some times and distances down that kind of thing um i originally made one of these which was available in the free download version which uh gave you all sorts of stats the problem is it gave you a lot of stats that your that these um fitness bands will give you now obviously a lot of us have these fitness bands as i do now and i just thought let's make one that gives you information that the fitness bands don't give you uh, which can be useful to you as a runner so that you would obviously use your fitness, or fitness band or whatever it is that you've got and you would use this as well. So let me just show you how it works. First and foremost, select your, your distance preference um, in kilometers or miles. Uh, obviously in the UK we use miles. I actually set my watch to kilometers um, just because it vibrates more often letting me know how many I've done and it just kind of keeps me somewhat entertained while I'm running and I don't think about how much pain I'm in. So I've said mine to kilometers. Uh, you can put your name in there. Uh, obviously, if you purchase this, your name will be locked in here. But if you buy this and you, the rest of your, your immediate family want to use it, they can do so, just making each a copy. So your name might be locked in here. Just put their, their individual names in uh, each of their spreadsheets. Uh, the last total distance. If this isn't your first spreadsheet, if you may be starting a second one or you've got you've already run some miles that you're not inputting into here, you can put the starting distance that you've run. This just calculates how many kilometers and miles you've run in total. So if you want to start off with a with um, some in the bank, you can do so. If you if this is your first spreadsheet and you're starting to run or you want to start from now, just leave that blank. That'll be fine. Once you set that up, you're ready to go um you can then i'm going to move on to the standard runs because i'm just going to show you what i mean by standard runs because that will affect your running data what are what the main the main idea of the spreadsheet is to actually group different kind different distance runs into categories so as you can see for argument's sake i've done a 3k 4k 5k 6k but i very seldom run exactly three kilometers or exactly four kilometers so what I've done is I've actually you, I put the name in here of the, of the run, then I put in the actual distance of that particular run. So three k's in three kilometers, four k's, four kilometers, so on and so forth. But what I've then done is I've said include any runs from two point five one kilometers to three point five zero kilometers. The reason why I've done this is because I was having an issue with the old spreadsheet where you would do a 5k exactly a 5k and it would say okay great you've done 5k's then you'd run 4.8k's and it would go oh this is your best time for 4.8 and then you run 4.9 and it'd go oh this is your best time for 4.9 and actually those could all be included together but what this does is it takes it one step further and actually works out your time for that particular distance so if you for if i for example did a 2.55k what it would do is it would include that 2.55k as a three kilometer, 
but it would adjust the time accordingly. So it would give it me the time as it would have been had I done exactly three. So it will adjust the time, which means you can actually compare any run from 2.51 Ks to 3.5 Ks as a three kilometer run. I hope that makes sense to you. Now there are a few checks that you need to do. If you have an overlap, if I took that to 3.55, then as you can see, those two will go across this because it says those two are overlapping. You don't want to have any overlapping times, uh, distances, sorry, because otherwise it's not going to know which category to put it in if it falls within that overlap. So you want to make sure there are no red crosses in here for the starters. Second of all, you don't have to have every single distance covered. If there's a gap, so let's just say I only did five or ten and I took out everything in between. If I never ran those distances, it wouldn't be a problem. If I run a distance that's not covered in this particular standard runs category, this cell here will turn red and it will warn me that there are in fact runs that aren't being included into a category, in which case I can just have a look on the running data to see which ones those are and include a category. So this is really just to categorize your runs so that you you're not you're not you're comparing apples with apples without actually having to do the exact mileage every single time, which could be a bit of a pain. These columns here will all automate. They're all zero and blank because I haven't actually inputted any data yet, but these will all calculate as and when you've got running data. So this you can set up at any stage. You can come and change this at any stage as well. It'll automatically change your, uh, your running data uh, accordingly. You can update these at any stage, but you only want to categorize the different distances into uh, consolidate them into one kind of distance once you've done that you can go to your running data and then all you need to input is the date the distance and the time now that's the distance the the unit of measurement I've, I've selected at the beginning and that's all you really need to input the time you want to input is hours minutes and seconds so if you take one hour it would be that one hour zero 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 that would be the time you see those go yellow to say I'm missing data there so what I can do here is I can go and get my existing running data. Uh, so let's go to my existing running data and go edit, copy. And remember, if you're bringing data, if you're copying and pasting at all in, into the spreadsheet, whether you copy externally or internally, always paste values that will keep the integrity of the spreadsheet. Normal paste will ruin it. It will keep, it will copy the formatting from the old text. You want to really just use paste values. That makes, that means that you won't, damage your spreadsheet. So I brought in all of my running data and all the distances and times covered and all the rest of it so we can see what that does. This hasn't turned red up here which means this one here hasn't turned red which means all these runs fall into a um, into one of the different standard runs so we've got everything covered all, all ticks there nothing's over here so that's all good. Uh, we can go to the report. Now the report updates automatically here you can see how many kilometers I've run since I started the spreadsheet and in miles. Here you can see your last 100 runs uh, showing obviously the standard run. Now if you look very carefully here you can see your distance and add it to the run or remove from the run. Here we've got that little darker patch on top. You're actually adding to that run to bring it up to a standard run and that lighter you're removing some of the distance to take it down to a standard uh, run. So you've got the standard distances and just that's just showing you where the runs have been reduced or increased to get to the standard. But here you've got your average kilometers. So you can see your average time per kilometer or mile above the runs and you can see your last hundred runs, what what length run you're doing and how you're improving and that kind of thing. Um, but if you scroll down even further here, you can actually select. So this by default would be blank, but you'll be able to select one of the different standard runs that you've done. And what it'll do is it'll show you your worst time, your best time, your average time, It'll show you the gold, silver, and bronze, i.e. the best, second best, and third best time, what dates they were on, what the actual distance was, and what the actual time was. Because obviously, remember, these distance, these times are based on your standard runs, so everything's been adjusted. Here you can see the runs have all been made. Those ones have all been increased to be the standard. The last two I've done have been actually the right, uh, the right distance. Number completed 91, which you can see just about half of the runs I've done have actually been in the five kilometer distance. Um, so that'll show you the proportion of this distance compared to all the runs that you've done. So this second half of this report is basically on, um, made according to the, the selection that you make, one of your standard runs, and this top one is through all your runs. So that's just a nice report to be able to see what's happening. But also as you go along and you fill in run, uh, you can obviously these are your standard runs. As you're filling in running data, 
Let's scroll down. You'll have a look. You see here. You'll see where you actually get a medal, i.e., the top uh, gold, silver, bronze. So this would have been uh, for a three-kilometer run, my gold time, the best one so far. So you'll see the medal appearing on the left-hand side to obviously try and keep you inspired to keep doing what you're doing. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I think that's it. Really, just create your standard runs. Put in your low, your distance range. Um, Put in these three items every time you go for a run date distance and time that you can set up beforehand this you need to set up beforehand and everything else will automatically generate as you go along so if you're a runner i wish you all the best with that and uh, i hope that the spreadsheet serves you well thank you very much goodbye